and welcome back to another video. Ron Z here, and right now, oh, there is one right there. I am looking for a horse. And why do I need a horse, you may ask? Well, because it is taking way too long to walk in between my... Holy cow. When I said I needed a horse, I meant a faster horse, but... I need a horse because it is taking too long to travel. Now, you may notice some things are a little, little bit different than when you last saw me. So, I did in fact download a texture pack. Not sure if I was going to originally, but I decided to. And, yeah. So, it is nighttime now, but I found a jungle that's over there. And now I'm trying to, I'm going to try to go over to it. But first, I'm going to have to get home. It's not too far, but that was my own mistake not bringing a bed with. Finally, found some civiliza civilization. Shh. Welcome back. It is now day, and we are back to where I was before. So, I'm just going around killing these mobs, and I'm coming up over to here, to this jungle area, because I want to get some jungle, whoa, get some jungle saplings and bamboo. I did steal some from him, but I still would like to find my own bamboo in the wild, and cocoa beans. Those are also really good. Um, so this is the Shattered Savannah. I don't know if this connects up to where I am right now with the village. I don't think so, but it might. So now we got some bamboo, and I've just been exploring. Scoping out the land. I've seen it through the map, but... I haven't seen it on foot. I haven't tracked through the deep jungles and stuff. So I don't have a stable source of food yet. So I'm still killing off the animals, like I said. But I I think I'm going to grab some wood. I, did I bring an extra axe? No, I didn't. That's uh, not smart. But... I got my horse. That's what I mainly wanted to get done. Okay, so we are back at the base here. And we have our horse here. I could not find a faster one. So I think I'm just going to take... Once I empty out my inventory, I'm just going to take um, the armor and saddle back. And I'll let him roam free. Now... What I did want to do is I wanted to see how something looked. I do now, as one of the texture packs, have the grass going down because I really like that. But the reason I'm coming into the village is I found some flowers. And yes, there still is some here. I wanted to dye this water. See how... Oops. See how the leather looks in this blue color. If it looks any good. No. No, it doesn't. I thought it was going to be way better looking. I guess not. But whatever. So. Whoa. So now. What do we want? We're going to work on our base. I did accidentally click a few of these while trading, so I decided to make the whole wall look like that. Huh? Don't know you. And then now, this is the base so far. The spawner is right underneath here. I need to make an elevator or ladder or something. But I want to make this little base just a little nicer. So I plan on getting into a creative test world 
and making a, just a small little base. And then I will show you how it looks when I'm done. Be with you in just a moment. So I decided to go with something a little more modern. Now, these black blocks, they're decent and they're a nice placeholder, but once the the nether update comes out, I'm going to swap those out because there is a new very dark block. It's like nether stone or something. So I'll swap it out for that and make them stairs, of course. But I really do like this one now. It's going to be a little bit farther back back it's gonna go a little farther back maybe to like here now it's gonna have around three floors so this floor this floor and this floor and then probably also i'll also have a basement or a cellar and then probably somewhere over here or something i'll have a mine and yeah so i do really like this so i'll keep this in mind but what I'll need to get is ink sacks for the glass and a lot of snow. Now, the ink sacks could be easy, but they might be a pain in the butt. So, I think actually I'm going to hold off on this project. But for the future, I do want this somewhere in the world. Instead, I think I'm just going to make a little stone and a Seika wood place. Just make it in survival. Go with the flow. And yeah. So I'll bring you back in the world when it is done. More diamonds. Six more? Oops. Yep, so six more diamonds. Not bad. I'll take it. Okay, so as you can see, I am back from the mine, and I have a lot of work done. I put in a nice polish and a site flooring. I did use slabs. I also finished smelting all of my iron here. So now I have a lot of materials. Well, not a lot, but a decent amount. So... This is everything I've gotten from all the mining expeditions I have gone on. Bunch of redstone, bunch of iron and coal, some diamonds, gold, and lapis. So what I'm going to be doing now is kind of making this place look just a little bit better. Because as of right now, it's decent, but it does not look good. It looks The floor looks good, but the walls and everything else about it does not look good. So yeah. We're going to try to fix that. I'm going to put in some accents. And once I get silk touch, I am going to be replacing this cobblestone with the silky touch. And yeah, so I'm going to go. Um, I'm going to go grab some. Grab some wood real fast. And we're going to work on this little building we have going here. Let me just get out of this hole. If I can get out of this hole. Um, grab some more. Grab some more. Okay, that should be fine. And now we can get out of this hole. Whoa, this, this is a lot. Whew. Okay, out of the hole. Covered it up so we won't ever fall in here again. So let me sleep real fast so we can see a little bit better here. Uh, do I have torches? No. Let me sleep, though. So, here's what I'm thinking. I already showed you what I want the base to look like eventually. But, or a base to look. But we do not have that yet. So, what I'm thinking is what we might want to do, make a little bit of an accent around here. So, what I'm thinking is using the Aseka wood, kind of go around the top here, and at all the corners, whoa, at all the corners, 
I'm going to go down and replace all that with a Seiko wood. And so I'm going to do that real fast and I'll be back with you in just a moment. Oh. Okay, hello and welcome back. As you can see, we are on top of this scaffolding here. And I'm just showing you how big the village really is. From down on the ground, you can't really tell, but it is pretty big. Now, right over there is my mine. Over there is the desert temporal and the other village. My farm is right down here. And so I just made some scaffolding out of my bamboo, which I harvested. And so yeah, this is the first floor of the house done. I plan on doing two or three more floors, or one or two more. And pretty simple, this will be stone brick when I get silk touch. Some white stained glass with the connected textures, which I love. And just a big picture window here so we can see that zombie walking over there. Now, I do have a good amount of stuff and I think what I'm going to do now is go over to Jay-Z's house because he has a XP farm or XP glitch farm thing. Because if you, if you have a furnace and then a hopper going down underneath the furnace going into a chest and you smell like seven or whatever, how many stacks... To fill up the hopper and a few places in the, in the chest. And then you fill the rest of the chest with dirt or something. Then the XP always stays in. So I don't remember who's it, who's it from. But I showed him how and he made one now. So I think that's what I'm going to go over to do. Is go over and use his enchantment table. Now I do have a good amount of lapis and diamond. So. Figuring out what do I want to get. So first, I want to make that all into lapis and make that into diamonds. So, stick. Is that what I needed? Yes, I need another stick. Okay, so, definitely a pickaxe to start. I'm going to grab some wood and not use up my bamboo. No. Some planks, some sticks. What else do I want? I pickaxe, not two pickaxes, shovel, and now how many diamonds do I have left? I have nine left. So two pack, two pickaxes and a shovel, with nine diamonds left. Um, sure, I'll make a sword, make an axe. And with four left, I'll make boots so I can get some feather falling. So, now we have diamond armor. Yay! I'm going to end the video here. As you can see, I have a lot of diamond tools and diamond boots. And if you enjoyed, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.